All right, so um, yeah, our heroes might be a bit more outmatched here than I previously thought. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We have episodes 174 and 175 of our One Piece watch of the day. Now in the last two, my boy Chopper, he popped off, baby. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. He took down one of the priests, which blew my expectations out of the water first off. And we were revealed uh, Inaru's actual power. And that's that he's pretty much the embodiment of lightning. It's absolutely absurd. I don't know how he could possibly be defeated. It's I'm teasing a lot that this young Shandian is actually like, it kind of has a mantra. I'm not sure. She can hear like when people's voices fade, kind of like Inaru has said that like his work. So I think it's putting a little plot points here and there for us to touch on later on. But nonetheless, let's get into these episodes. Look at her. She's still a natural. Two thousand one extinct hundreds. Oh, so that's why it's. Oh. That's why it's so impressive that. Or he said it's kind of like powerful. Look at it. They got they got so many like modes of transportation now. It's nice. I kind of hope this episode focuses on Luffy because I want to see how he gets out of this snake. She can sense people. She does have mantra. A mantra. Yeah. I was head of the game, although it was a little obvious as, it, as time went on. I can imagine, especially for a child. Says you, Nami? Are you serious? That's a brave kid, man. I mean, she probably can't even sense Luffy because he's in an animal. What I presume to be the snake. No way this man is hungry right now. And he has been fighting a little bit. He put the crown on, dude. <laughs> it looks good. Stylish. <laughs> Box meal for breakfast. Yeah, it's such a strange cave. A mobile cave. One that almost swallowed you. The city of gold isn't real. I'm not I'm not even taking my tinfoil hat off. It's not real. Sorry. I will eat a sock if the city of gold is real. It's just gonna be like a stack of gold. It's going to be a simple pile. You heard it here first, folks. I'm here to shut down the rumors. <gasps> The box lunch or breakfast. It does look good. Bro, that is an enormous south bird. That's like one of the ones that saved Chopper, right? And you're the food, Zoro. It looks so nice. It's a whole lobster. Oh, it looks like worried that it like upset Zoro. It just wants a friend. It'll be nice, Zoro. Three hours, only five people will be standing. There's 81 left. Oh, no, there's not 81 left. He said there's like 50 something. Oh, 25. He's got to shred that number down 20 more. Oh, brother, I'm sorry. It's not looking good for you. He just teleports. He's as fast as lightning. He's chopping the numbers down. Okay, but most of the numbers has to be our crew. Everybody is gonna die. Like everybody. I really want Robin to take this guy down. I know she's powerful enough to. I'm not underestimating him. I think I might be overestimating Robin though. Bro, just, no, not the ruins. Kalindula? She's just gonna take the brute force of the hit. Damn. Oh God. It is it is nice that she's protecting it. All the history. Tell it to him. Mm. A fool! Punch Mountain! He is intimidating though. Yeah, true. If she just runs away from the ruins, he's not gonna just take his time to just smash it all, I don't think. Yeah, he's just desperately trying to get to her. Yeah, but seeing these ruins up in the sky that, that was a missing piece of history. There's so much potential out there in the world. I mean, the Grand Line is so mysterious. There could be anything out there, bro. Yeah, it's like the, the perfect place for her to go. He's destroying it all. That was that was a clean kick. I, I won't even lie. Bro's, bro's majestic with it. Cut his run. Oh my gosh, he's pissed that she's running. He's destroying it all, man. Dang, it's really upsetting her too. It's not everything she's about. I mean, it's ancient history that should be protected. Keys to the past. They made it, I think they made it out of the ruins. Too late. 
She means business now. But they should still exist. Yeah, she's heard enough from you. The hat is off. Every move he uses is just something mountain. I want to see her go all out. Oh, she caught him. Oh my gosh, she's swinging him into the tree. Oh, shoot. Let's go, Robin. Yeah, and he falls like a rock, too. Good. I mean, the more he weighs, the more it's going to hurt when he falls. <laughs> he, he's very nimble for being a freaking unit. You, you can't. Can't. I hate that. I hate that so much. Ah, I'm sorry. Come on. Chopper took down a priest. She can do much more. Oh. She reversed the dials. It'll use it on him. Damn. She clean with it. Let's go, Robin. That's what's up. Easy clapple. She says she won't forgive you for your sins. Mm. Nor will you ever, because you die here today. Oh, it's too late. It's it's far too late, child. Yeah! God, he's terrifying. And she's not worried a single bit. <laughs> oh, those fingers! See it in the blue! Wait, is she going to roll him off the edge? Damn! Toss him out like the trash he is! You can't beg for forgiveness! Well, that is going to shake the entire island. I love Robin, bro. She's so awesome. It's scattered. What's inside, though? So, we know the one priest is all the way up the, the beanstalk. Can I keep calling that a beanstalk? Oh, back to her conversation with Cobra again. Dude, that already feels like so long ago. Man, the end of Alabasta. I do wonder which like overarching like life goal will happen first. Like her finding the real history, Sanji seeing the all blue sea, Zoro becoming the world's greatest swordsman. I think Choppers is like a little more overarching because he just wants to help everyone. He wants to be the all purpose medicine, but I don't know. Usopp being this the bravest pirate of all time. I don't know. I think if I had to guess, it would be Sanji's with the all blue sea. But then it all depends on where it is and how far it is. This is like the center of all of it such uplifting music this is a big piece of her journey this forgotten history that regular people weren't able to see and only she is Ooh, more relics that she can decipher i'm waiting for her to find something like crazy important like that's why they showed the flashback and everything it's making me think she will this is it this is the city of gold i'm saying man there's no gold was i right all along or is the gold in there? What? Eh? Huh? Things are getting interesting. She's digging into it. Like it's been buried? Like the gold? What could it be? I'm so intrigued. This is like her dream as a as a like relic sort of hunter, history hunter. All these ruins and stuff, so old. Ah, to everything below. Never mind, I don't even want to cut to Luffy. I'm so zeroed in on this. I like the OST too. It's so pretty. It's like Nico Robin the show. Light down this far below. More ruins? Oh my gosh. So many more. Just buried below. This is it. This is Shandora. Those were just the ruins above, like the outlier. Dude, the scale of it. Oh my god! It's enormous! I like how it used her and then zoomed out to show it. Well, this is like, this is her in a candy store. She was the first to find it, aptly so. 
Another reveal? What is it? Is that the untold history? That looks like a Poneglyph. It looks similar to the one from Alabasta. So it is one. Giant gold bell. I would think it'd be with like the tippity top. Dude, god dang. I was so locked in. I wanted to see her keep exploring it. I love these newfound lands. This Salbert is just taking a liking to Zoro. Finally, Luffy is making some progress. Look at carrying the city. Hmm. Damn. It's all about the Poneglyph. That's why it fell. Ooh. She needs to look for that, that golden bell. But it is, it, it like warms my heart seeing how excited she's getting, seeing all this ancient history. Like I said, it's her in a candy store. And she recognizes the lengths people went to try to protect these histories. Episode 175 though, let's get it. But so, what's the difference between this Poneglyph and the one that was in Alabasta? Like, how is this one a closer link to the one that she's looking for? I guess because this, this Shandora fell trying just to protect this Poneglyph? No way is Chopper scaling it! This man just gets more and more badass! Uh, <laughs> Cue the Giga Chat music. Wait, you can't fall. Hey, Chopper. Like, dude, this is so stupidly high up. He's just going. <laughs> Chopper, you got all this? I like how what drives him is impressing everybody else. It's sweet. Robin was the first to find actual Shandora. Gold, gold. Oh. No way did he run into another priest. Oh, it's the one with the dog. Well, we knew this one was up here. I just didn't know exactly where. They're gonna make my boy run into another? The third one to make, oh, two Shandians made it? Spiderhead. Oh, he calls Kidatsu Spiderhead? Makes sense, the hair. Hey, they did have their differences from what we've seen. Chopper, don't make an enemy out of this guy, please. Hidatsu was a little bit dumb. This guy just scares me. And he has a dog, too. Ooh, a body. I like how he's not, like, immediately just murdering Chopper. Holy is very well trained, yeah. What? Om. You're scary. <laughs> He's too scary. I don't like him. <laughs> what? The fragility of life. Huh? Oh. Damn, he actually, he actually mourns him. Not mourns him, but mourns, I guess, the situation he got himself in. He seems very conflicted. To kill you! <laughs> I love how straightforward. Yeah, I'm here for gold. He's so innocent, man. You're gonna save me? Oh! Putting him out of his misery to desire. <sighs> Meanwhile. She's just watching everyone die. There they were. The work of Enaru. Ooh. He's alive still? Oh my gosh. My boy got like 10 million volted or something. The thing is, if Wiper found God's Yeah, Enaru's, not, Enaru's down here. There's no way. Yeah, he can, he does not survive through this, man. He can tell her at least or warn her of what Enaru is. I don't know if they can come up with a plan though. Seemingly, yeah. He's got to have some kind of weakness. What would leaving Isis back with him do? Dude, he, there's no way he lives. Yeah, I think he just died. I think that was his hand dropping. I don't think he makes it. If we go another episode with Luffy and this god dang snake man, brother's been messing around for far too long. The Rumble Rumble? Logia type? What is happening? What? Rumble Rumble fruit? Did she just guess? 
No, oh you... my oh. god! You cannot be serious, Zoro. No, it wanted a friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe it actually did just want food. My boy guy is getting robbed. Wait, this is perfect. It's flying him. Wait, this could fly him closer to the ruins. You lucked out, Zoro. What does he have in his crown now? Is that a fish? People just dying outside. Oh, he went to the wrong end. Puff. <laughs> I love when the lips like stick out like a duck. Is he going to punch his way out of this snake? Or what's just going to upset its stomach? Dude, this thing is massive. It looked massive when it was in the forest. Now it just looks absurd. Oh no, did it eat more? Oh, I think he did upset the stomach. Or the snake's just moving around. At least he's making progress in one direction. Run, Chopper! Run! Bro is zooming around. <laughs> He's gonna end up right back at the same place, isn't he? I love the sound of him trying to catch, <laughs> trying to catch his breath. You're hiding the wrong way again, little buddy. <laughs> He's standing right in front of me, isn't he? Oh, maybe he actually did make it out. Yes, focus on an escape plan. Good, 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 good. You are small. You can hide in small place. Oh, places. Hunting from salvation. So is there going to be no further explanation in terms of the mantras and them being able to know what happens two to three seconds ahead of time? I guess it can't really explain it beyond that. Like some are just born with the mantra, like the the kid Shandian. Oh my gosh! No! He cut my boy! Survival rate of zero? That's 50% less than the swamp! Damn, dude, Chopper just can't catch a break, man. He's really running into, like, the most powerful enemies aside from Anaru. In, in comparison to anyone else. No! She no what do you mean Chopper's voice disappeared? Aisa, brave! I should have hopped off the boat! I mean, technically, her friends are involved, too. Oh, that's a snake. Oh, no. Oh, no. He had come so far. It's flushing him all the way back to the back. Is that snake just drinking water? Yeah, Sanji and Usopp are just, like, down for the count. Oh! There's the snake! That's what Luffy's in! Wait, it seems friendly. Oh, it's, stu it's tummy aches. Probably because Luffy punched it. Is that actually what's happening? <laughs> the fact that this man still thinks he's just in a cave. Yeah, he's just hurting its stomach. It probably just wants peace. Just keep going for Oh my gosh. Maybe he makes it throw up? Oh, he's just causing much more chaos than there needs to be. He's riding a wave rider on land. Oh, you guys are in charge of uh, of going merry. Please take good care. Since Usopp and Sanji can't. Hey guys, we got a quota to meet in terms of people alive in like an hour. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not looking good for either of you. Oh, here comes the snake. Luffy is going to indirectly cause the deaths of these two men, aren't they? Oh no. Wait, yeah, probably. Yep, here it comes. Go that way. <laughs> they named it the Lord of the Sky and Luffy's just vibing in there as this thing goes a million miles an hour. Yeah, but you've both been in here already. It's okay. Yep, here goes, <laughs> goes Zoro. He's making some progress. Zoro, don't let go. You will literally perish. Oh, did you see the snake? Oh! oh my gosh. The bird is like freaking out. This is so chaotic, man. Yeah, why is it irritable? My goodness. Does this bird have a plan? Oh, the snake wants food. So just drop, drop Zoro. Snake will leave you alone. Genius. 
<laughs> you are shameless, Southbird. Shameless. Wait, but if the snake eats him, he'll be with Luffy. And he can explain to the, the freaking Luffy what's going on. Is that Wiper? Wiper! Go save Chopper! Oh, is it actually at the top? I would guess further than where Chopper is. Oh, Nosey's coming. Dude, he pre- He pre-fired! He pre-fired! Okay, where's Chopper? Tell me he's okay. Oh, okay. Well, now, now we know the general, uh, I guess, geography of this. What is he, uh, Holy doing up there? <gasps> Gunball! Dude, everybody's coming together. Why is he saying there's no point? What, since Enaru isn't up there? Oh, and he didn't see him. Damn, he got past all. I guess he could just fly past him. The shrine is? Oh! oh, the men he was going to look for. His like 500 something men. Oh. Okay, so it, yeah, Inaru has this big plan that needs to be explained still. There's six years of hard labor. They've been working towards something all this time. It's just been bad time, or I, I guess good time inherently that Luffy's crew came at this point. Yeah, even Gonfall doesn't know the plan. I'll we'll just fight Ohm until he tells. Now Zoro's here! Let's go! A fellow swordsman! Oh, that South Bird saves him a lot of walking. Wait, how did Zoro fall up there? Wait, how did that happen? Oh, I won't question it, whatever. He was not that high yet. Oh no, now the snake's coming up. That could be a delivery for Luffy. Meanwhile, Robin is just down there exploring Shandora. There's no gold. He did say 0%. Dude, Gunball, Zoro, and Wiper? Uh, you're a little outmatched here, Ohm. Alright, this could be actually like a beast fight. What if Luffy joins? Wait! Special delivery? Oh. A giant? Another. Oh. What's happening? I think you're outmatched here, Ohm. I don't mean to. And the snake's here, too. Okay, Luffy, just run out. I also love that shot of all of them standing there at the end. It's just like all the culmination of everything. But things get more and more interesting in terms of Enaru's side. Considering how before we just thought he just ruled with this iron grip and he just, I guess, manipulated the citizens and just they, they all just did whatever he said. But now it seems like, the uh, again, he's been working towards towards this greater good that he, uh, he's gonna carry out soon here enough. I would imagine once the hour is up, everything will be explained, but I, I can't for the life of me think of what he would want. Since he rules above all up here, why would he Why would he just abandon all of that? He's so powerful that nobody can even touch him if they wanted to. And now Ulm is going to have to face off against them and he, I don't think his odds look very good. And that's sort of like, I, I would say Inaru's last line of defense, but he doesn't really need one seeing as how powerful he is. But then it's gonna have to be him doing a lot of the fighting for himself which again we'll have to get creative with and see what our heroes can pull out because he's the embodiment of lightning but some really good episodes again i i'm so enthralled with everything robin does and how seriously she takes the past histories i could have watched a dozen episodes of her just exploring shandora and i would have been perfectly satisfied but guys that's been it for episodes 174 and 175 of our one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace